This video is brought to you by the San Jose State Quarterback Club. After losing to Fresno State 38-24, the Spartans prepare for their last home game of the season against Hawaii. 20 seniors will be introduced during the pregame, marking their final appearance at Spartan Stadium, including wide receiver Jabari Carr. Here's a quick look at Edwin Wise's exclusive interview with Mr. San Jose himself. Edwin Wise here, joined by San Jose State senior wide receiver Jabari Carr. Jabari, thank you for taking some time out of your busy schedule and allowing us to come into your lovely home. Definitely. Thank you. And first things first, um, last game at Spartan Stadium coming up this Saturday. What's going through your mind? You got two games afterwards, but this is the last home game, which is going to be the last home game for you in your career. Definitely a huge game. Uh, I mean, like all games, you know, they're huge, of course, but uh, this one has a lot of meaning to it. Just the, you know, last time I get to play in Spartan Stadium uh, with a Spartan uniform on. So it definitely means a lot to me, it means a lot to my family. Uh, it means a lot to, you know, just the sound of the community, especially me being a local guy. Um, I expect a lot of people to attend. I mean, 10 years down the line, when you think about your career, you're always gonna think about that last game, playing in front of the home crowd. And uh, I expect it to be a great game. Um, last time the Rainbow Warriors were in town, it was a battle and uh, we came out victorious. So uh, we're looking to do that again. Now let's take a step back, press the rewind button, Tell me about your early experiences with football. When did you start playing? That's a long rewind, but uh, <laughs> man, early experience, you know, I was just, you know, a San Jose kid, man, and actually didn't really get to start up until uh, after seventh grade, you know, play a lot of uh, street football. But uh, man, I, you know, I love the fact that I got to play at Oak Grove and uh, it was a great varsity career there. And, um, you know, it feels good being a Spartan, you know, being, uh, being able to wear those colors again, the same colors as my high school. It's been a great journey, man, and uh, it's been tough. You know, there's been, like you said, highs and lows. You know, we had a great receiving core, you know, so it wasn't like I just walked into being a starter and things like that. So, um, you know, the military bowl and uh, being 21 in the country at the end of it all, and, um, you know, just put the program on the map, which I've, I've always envisioned, you know. And then, you know, once sometimes things go so well, and, you know, there's always a downfall. So, um, you know, I ended up getting hurt. Didn't think it was too serious, and, uh, I mean, after that, the rest is kind of history. You know, I never really got my chance to play after that. And uh, man, when I say it was adverse, it was real adverse, man. Just battling through that season and not getting the, the, the love that I've gotten before and things like that. But um, my family kept me motivated. My teammates definitely kept me motivated, man. I, I really got to thank my family and my teammates for that, man, because, uh, you know, guys like Noah Grigsby, Chandler Jones, you know, Kyle Nunn, you know, picked me up. Like, you know, man, bro, it's gonna be okay. Just continue to grind. You know, God has a plan for you. And uh, this spring, this past spring, had a really good spring. Um, started to, you know, get my mojo back, which was exciting and things like that. And, uh, you know, then I had a, you know, probably the biggest tragedy of my life, you know, when my father passed away this summer. Um, and, you know, that was right before the season. So, I mean, that was tough, but, uh, you know, I just told myself, you know, I gotta stay persistent and I gotta continue to uh, to fight the good fight, you know, as he did. Uh, this is my father's flag, um, U.S. Army vet. Um, and he also has his badge and a few patches from um, Valley Medical uh, Protective Services where uh, he was there for a long time. Um, you know, this is kind of the foundation. Um, it just gives us a reminder, you know, where we get our strength from and uh, when we're having a down day, you know, we'll come over here and take a look and, uh, you know, just tell ourselves, you know, there's there's no way we can complain when we, you know, the foundation that he's laid for us. So uh, it, it just gives us a reminder, um, you know, I tell my mom I want it in my house, but she's like, no way. So maybe we'll make duplicates. Came from a household of, you know, eight, you know, there's eight of us all together. So I have seven other siblings and, uh, you know, both of my parents, you know, raised us. You know, I mean, they just did a fantastic job with all of us and uh, positive fixtures in the community have always been there for me and, you know, always showed me the way. And uh, it's just, you know, I've, I've just always told myself, you know, I want to give back. As far as pressure goes, no, I don't feel like there's any added pressure. Um, it's just like I always tell myself, I tell myself I have a, a, a duty to do for my, my family and my community. Um, I mean, the payoff for me is just, you know, like I'll get, you know, I'll get different, you know, Facebook messages or Instagram messages and these kids, you know, tell me how great they're doing and how they really enjoy it that I came to their school today and things like that, so. High school diplomas, it goes down a list of every one of my siblings, but, you know, if you look a little to your right, it's my pride and joy. 
you know, my bachelor's of art degree as a San Jose State student. So I am officially an alum. I mean, as you can see, you know, there's all these siblings, so there's so many things to our family. Um, well, speaking of San Jose and growing up here and giving back, playing for the Spartans, Mr. San Jose, you're so, the, Mr. San Jose right in front of me, right here. Where did that start? Well, first off, just so I can get it, there's been a lot of Mr. San Jose before <laughs> me, um, James Jones included, but um, it actually started freshman year against Fresno, man, mm -hmm. and uh, I actually heard that somebody had said it on a radio show um, weeks before, and um, the first time I heard it was at the end of the year banquet, and um, the radio show was actually, you know, broadcasting the game and they were showing my highlight and they said, you know, touchdown, Mr. San Jose. And I was kind of like, huh. At first, I really didn't like it because I thought it, it would add pressure. And I'm like, you uh -huh, know. See. But, you know, guys on the team, you know, a couple guys on the team uh, started to explain to me, like, why, you know, it's, it's, it's cool and, and what it represents. And, you know, guys kind of like, man, you're so much a community leader. Right, right. You know, you know, you love San Jose. You know, there's not a lot of guys there. At the time, there wasn't so many guys from San Jose on the team. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, for you to be that guy from San Jose, you know, who loved the city, who represents the city, you know, it was, it was a big deal. And I started to, you know, really enjoy it and catch on to it. Um, I feel like it's beyond just a football name. Mm -hmm. It's more so like, here's this guy, you know, who loves his city, who will do whatever for his city, Mr. San Jose. So it kind of rang a bell and it stuck with me ever since. But as things at Spartan Stadium and San Jose State start to come to a close, you notified us that you had a great backing from family to former players to, to new players. At this moment, I'm gonna give you a chance. Who would you like to thank? Definitely like to thank my parents, first and foremost. I like to thank my siblings, of course. Definitely my fiance, you know, she's been there for me through through it all. Um, man, and you know, I can't forget about the sound of the community, just the, the community as a whole. You know, I tell myself, you know, I'm not just an ambassador of San Jose State University, but an ambassador of the city of San Jose. Um, just, you know, there's so much community leaders who, you know, who have been there for me, who have seen me through the ups and the downs, who have, you know, vouched for me and who have just been there for me. So I definitely want to thank the city of San Jose.